Hi everybody. Just wanted to give you a, a look here at a Thai mulberry. I was growing this in a little pot there for a little bit of time and now I, I put it in the ground probably, you know, f um, a few months ago. And just to show you all the new growth that started happening here. And check this out. I've been getting already a ton of fruit off of this and it's very little. And look at the size of that. That is like way bigger than a everberry mulberry that I have that gives me a ton of, of food as well. You can see right here. Ooh, it fell right there. Let me, let me get I'll clean it up and I'll eat it. You see right there that it's you got a really nice size. Look at that. It's way bigger and these uh, are prolific. They in fact let me get this one too. Go. These uh, mulberries are they're quite prolific and get a little bigger and they'll give you tons of fruit. I've seen some if you want to check some out on the internet some some pictures of the Thai mulberry and I mean you can't even see the tree. <laughs> so I got this one here because obviously I don't have so much space so I figured I'd put it here in front of the Pakistani mulberry which you can see is getting pretty big it looks really nice still hasn't given me fruit though so I'm hoping maybe for this season coming up now or next season I, I'll get some so those are even bigger but uh, right next to it here I got the Thai mulberry which uh, you know mulberries grow they have a, a big range as far as zones that they grow in uh, but this one right here is doing really well I'm in South Florida so uh, you know, for sure, if you're in Florida, you know, you know, try it out. And like I said, it, it grows further north as well and all that. So, uh, but it's, it's a great tree. You can, you know, propagate it by doing cuttings on it. And, and you know, you, so you can propagate as many trees as you want basically for free. And, and they grow really fast. They start producing, you know, fruit really quickly when you get, you know, cuttings off a tree that's already producing so um, can't go wrong with it uh, they have good fruit they're very healthy you know they're they're a very healthy fruit for you to eat and at the same time you know they're they're prolific as far as uh, how much food they do give you and they taste great they, they're sweet so um, I you know I would recommend that you get one and uh, plant it in your in your yard and like I said they don't take up that much space they they you can keep them like a shrub uh, you know you can kind of train them to you know put them against the wall whatever uh, they'll do fine you can you know they should get some sun obviously so this is a good spot to get a good amount of sun here but I've had some cuttings that I put you know in places that don't get too much sun and they still fruit maybe not as much but you'll still get some fruit I've you know had that done that myself so uh, I can tell you for sure that you know you will get some as long as it gets a little bit of sun you know it'll it'll still produce so anyway just wanted to uh, give you an update here on my Thai mulberry and uh, you can see right there uh, I'll, you know keep taking look at this one's even bigger I'll keep taking videos as time goes on here and, and uh, keep showing you how much more it starts producing since uh, I know they can be pretty prolific. But it's looking great, you know, beautiful leaves too, they're very bright and shiny green, light green, darker green. So it's a very nice tree to have in your food forest. And you can fit them pretty much anywhere. You can probably you can grow them in a pot too. You know, a big enough pot. You, you can definitely grow and get a lot of fruit out of it. So, uh, I highly recommend this. Look guys, here I have a whole bowl of uh, Everberry mulberries that I just picked off the tree. And this is just one time that I picked off and I filled the whole bowl. And 
uh, the Everbearing Mulberry versus the Thai. The Thai ones, like I said, are bigger and they can be very prolific but the everbearing is prolific as well and it'll bear fruit pretty much the whole year it has uh, certain spurts where it just gets loaded like you get a bowl like I showed you you know every day and then <laughs> the next day you get another bowl and it just it has a ton of fruit some that are ready some that are green some are red and then it has a bunch of flowers popping out all the time like you just saw and pretty much it's just prolific as well so you know it's nice to have a, a few varieties okay guys thanks for watching god bless